He's on attack. He's taking this club to new heights. You mentioned the stripe, Kark. Get your popcorn ready, folks. Trevor Baptiste is the best face-off man in the game today. In that competition for number two, Connor Farrell's right in the mix. He leads the league in ground balls with 43. Baptiste is right behind him with 41. Listen, Baptiste, he's a fan favorite. So is Connor Farrell. A lot of people siding with Baptiste tonight, but I talked with Connor yesterday. He said he is fired up for this matchup. We're underway in the primetime marquee matchup of the weekend. Baptiste and Farrell, that's going to be a wrestling match all night long, and Baptiste comes out on top the first time. It's been amazing thus far, nine and white. Right, it's kind of given new perspective to the quarterback position, a wing quarterback. We always think about the guys at X behind the cage. He's spectacular to watch. We're going to have some fun watching these two offenses tonight. Trevor Baptiste is two for two at the stripe. You saw Justin Anderson's a speed guy. Dylan Malloy, brute force. Baptiste won the clamp on that faceoff. Here come the wings. It is 3v3 right on top of the Viking head here at TCO. Farrell had it for a second. Baptiste blew him up. Too much contact. Chrome ball. Push from behind. When you have a matchup like this, I mean, getting the ground ball. 2-1 Bulls in the first quarter. Connor Farrell at the face-off stripe under the helmet, powered by Sun Clarella. Connor, this is a big boy matchup. Two of the best in the universe between you and Trevor Baptiste. Where does he challenge you the most? Uh, he's, he's got great hands. Unlike other face-off guys, he's a big boy, too. We got a lot of, a lot of smaller face-off guys in the league, but uh, me and him, it's a big battle, so it's going to be a wrestling match all, all game long. Um, yeah, it's going to be a battle all game long. Nothing's going to be easy here. What's your superpower? What was that? What's your superpower? I'm going to try to beat him with my speed and my strength. All right, right here. You'll see it right here, baby. Let's go. That guy's the best. Connor Farrell. We're going to leave the mics open on this face-off battle. This will be fun to listen to. say it was stuck in Trevor Baptiste's stick, which is a violation. That is awesome. We need <laughs> we that, that sound time. more. Yes, we need that sound more. Danny Logan, the reigning short stick D mini of the year in the PLL. Let's go down to Chantel is with Danny. A two-pointer, that feels pretty good. High school, only 50 behind the all-time leader in goals. It's my hometown. Paul Carcaterra is the all-time leader, in case you were wondering. We've got a Yorktown and a Richfield shout-out in the first quarter. I'm done, Carc. And you, being a Minnesota native, were hitting all. <laughs> it's it's all only fair. Towns. It's only fair that I shouted out. Pro career. Really cool when we listen into the faceoff yeah, last stop time. Talking. Let's do it again, stop Carl. Hop over, hop over, hop over. How about Connor Farrell directing the defense? Atlas win the faceoff, and they cash in right away. Have a night, Danny Logan. Didn't have a goal coming in. He's got two tonight. This is the Atlas sauce. And I'll tell you why. If you survive the transition and they have more fast break goals than any team in the league, the next layer, the next 10 seconds, the way they hit you in early offense is spectacular because you have a playmaker like Trevor Baptiste. That little flick when he wins the draw to Chris Gray and Gray understands Danny Logan is playing cat and mouse. He's going for an exchange to get off the field, and at the last second, he turns around and cuts. Gray identifies that. That is spectacular early offense. I should say, Logan, it's his first one-pointer of the year. He had one two-bomb coming into tonight. He's got another one in this one. It's a 5-2 Atlas edge. That's Trevor, yeah. Kicking it, playing soccer. Get the possession. We saw Greg Beast, Gerenlian's tweet.
He's the only player in professional lacrosse history who's with the New York Lizards to be the MVP of the league as a face-off guy. If the season stopped today, we would have another in Trevor Baptiste. He's well in the outdoor. Jeff T is so talented. There's a violation against Farrell, so Baptiste now six for nine at the strike. Farrell lost his twig, trying to take it away from Baptiste, who threw it to McIntosh out of Oakville, Ontario, 32 years old. Today is Canada Day, by the way, so it's only right that he scores. Baptiste wins another. Seven to three. The advantage for Baptiste at the stripe. Look out, Logan again, that bouncer. In 2022, you know it's automatic. Like, that is his spot where he just understands positioning by the defense and how to can a shot like that. He's the Terps' all-time leader in points. It's a second Chrome goal in the last 143. Wow! Cade Van Raphorst! That is a howitzer from two-point range. Trevor, Trevor, you got it. Get this dude on the mound at target field. That's a four-seam fastball for the deuce. This is unbelievable. Start to the Trevor Baptiste face-off win to a Van Raphorst hammer. Trevor, why is this team so good in transition? We're sharing the ball. We got our eyes up and we're running fast. The matchup at the stripe between you and Connor. You're 8 for 11. Why have you been so successful? I think we're all working together on these GBs. We're scrapping it up. They're getting tough. Girl's a big boy, so we just got to keep moving. Thank you, Trevor. Baptiste under the helmet, powered by Sun Clarella. Best thing I can do tonight is shut up and let you listen to the face-off. That's so good. Our crew is great on the PLL. Wow! Atlas wasting no time. Eric Law before you can even blink. When Trevor Baptiste is dominating the stripe, Chrome is just being asked to play too much defense. They're staring at haymakers. Right hook, left hook. There's only so much this defense can handle. Once again, as impressive the wins are at the stripe for Baptiste, it's what he does with the ball afterwards. He understands where the pressure is where to find the next man in the rotation. And then Danny Logan, a short stick defensive midfielder to make a pass like that. This team is dangerous. He wins at the strike, but it's what he does after. Like if you're a young face-off guy, you want to be multi-dimensional. Just watch this guy. Like the threat he is to opposing defenses because what he does after the win, he's the best in the world at the win. And he's the best in the world making decisions after the win. Karki came in with six points. Three goals, including a two-pointer, a couple of assists. Baptiste wins another face-off. He's 10 for 13 at the stripe. This might be the best athletic performance in this state since Adrian Peterson ran for 296 against the San Diego Chargers as a rookie. Behind the goal. Once he got the inside track, though, he dipped the right shoulder and his footwork continued upfield to essentially have a straight line shot at Scanone. That was amazing by Chris Gray. He is a blast to watch. From Long Island, Wading River, New York. Gray 5'7, Bernhardt 6'1. A six inch height disadvantage is actually an advantage there. I say it all the time. If you're strong, being small is no problem. Gray almost had another one. Kind of just waits until a defender lifts his stick and then he times it where he can get his hands free to get a shot like that. Snaps a 5-0 Atlas run. Baptiste is 9 for 9 in this second quarter. And Chrome, for the first time in the second, win a faceoff. Whoever wins this one is going to have the last shot of the first half, and it's Chrome ball. 
This has been a treat to listen to all night. Trevor Baptiste versus Connor Farrell, both under the helmet, powered by Sun Clarella. Let's listen in at the face-off strike. Baptiste picks up where he left off in that first half. No. We're tough, but that one took him a minute to get over. Good to see him back out here and doing some good things in the second half. His release is, is wicked. I remember watching him, even when he was a freshman at Notre Dame, like he shot the ball with aggression. You just, you, you feel the power on some guy's shots. Like a Jeff Teed, it's, it's grace. Brian Cobb, he stepped on the grounds at Army West Point. He had to take ownership of the offense. And you see that as a rookie. Like, this, this guy's barking out. He totally dedicated himself to the sport. Did not have a single sweep from Christmas morning until the national championship game. Wow. That's six months of no sweeps. Lost 15 pounds. Changed his body. But more importantly, you see the confidence. You see the overall game. That beautiful pass earlier in the third to righty. One's a quarterback, one's more of a, of a scorer. Wisnaskis can feed, obviously. But, like, to me, these two are a perfect complement to one another. This is where Trevor Baptiste makes his money. Can he stop the run by dominating once again at the strike? And it's Chrome Ball. Let's go down to Chantel. We call them Chrome Max for a reason. What has led to this surge from your team? Yeah, another goal line mess. All hustle plays. We just did a lot of hustle plays. He got played incredible. Opportunity for Farrell. Farrell wins it clean. He can shoot himself. Still has it. Delivered some punishment. Atlas come away with it. That's Michael Rexrow, 22, who's got it. Back to Tucker Durkin. That's one that Farrell's going to want back because he wins. Why? Because Farrell won the last one clean. Well, he went down the middle of the field and he, he took a hit. Baptiste wins this one. Atlas can hold for one. Baptiste gets clocked. No flag as Messenger laid the boom. And oh, Baptiste he's limping. is limping. Not good. Five to shoot. T couldn't find Gray. Ball skips out of bounds. And we'll go to the fourth quarter, and that's the biggest storyline in the game right now. Trevor Baptiste is ginger. That's the best player in the PLL right now who tilts the outcome of every game. We're tied in many, and the Atlas star is on the ropes. 12 minutes on the clock, 12-12, tie ball game. Trevor Baptiste came up gimpy at the end of the third quarter. Connor Farrell wins the first faceoff, and Baptiste is clearly injured. Yeah, he's not right. Let's go down to Chantel with more on Trevor. Yeah, he is limping all over the field, and he's done a great job of doing his job so far tonight. But as he was getting that right thigh taped up, that blue, he said, pop, pop. Those were his words. He said at the end in that typical positive spirit, thank God we have a bye week next week with his tongue out, guys. That's great stuff, Shane. Is that Willis Reed and Trevor Baptiste number nine? I'm more concerned about how he reacts after the win or the loss. Okay, so right now he's digging in. He's got no strength. Look, look how he's he's got the clamp right there. He's got the clamp. That's all wrist. He Farrell's can't use all his over leg. Farrell is all over him. Going back to his linebacker days at LIU Post, Baptiste can barely move. Chrome has it, and it's a timeout. I don't know if I would have called that timeout. You had Baptiste on the field. Until he left the field, you potentially had a numbers game. And Tarafenko was cruising down the field. Baptiste is back out there. Let's listen in. Early, early, that was early, that was early. That was early. You know that was fucking early. 
That's Trevor Baptiste. Right now at the stripe. The sub game after the win or the loss for Trevor Baptiste is critical. Baptiste had it for a second. Again, he's playing on one leg out there. Now it's up to the wings. Out of bounds. Whose ball? It belongs to the Crow. So now you have to put Baptiste as an attacker. Saw him cross midfield. Yep. Because you can't, you can't play the sub game as a mini. You'll get caught in the numbers game and you'll be down one. Chrome takes its final timeout. Down by one. What do they cook up? Again, it's Jacques Monty in as the acting head coach with Tim Sudan of Extra. Baptiste was carried off the field. This effort, his ability to persevere through pain, just tells you what kind of teammate he is.